Good morning, welcome to the garden. I'm just wrapping up on fertilizing here with the Angrecums. Um, yeah, check out the root growth on this. Uh, this is Angrecum eburnum, which I just got you know, a few, about a month ago, I guess. A month or two. Check out all the new roots. Man, this thing is going bananas. I love it. I love it when orchids grow like that. So, um, yeah, a little slow on the Magdalena, but it's got a new leaf coming at least. So I didn't really disturb the roots on it, but uh, this one here really needed a repot. I like to give these guys a big pot right off the bat. Um, that way I don't have to mess with them in inert media. So that way I don't have to repot them for a long, long time because they don't like that. So, all right. Anyway, that's uh, Angrecum eburnum from... Uh, Oh, what is the name of that? Reunion Island um, variety. All right, I'm going to pause and get this back up on the shelf after it drains. And there is the Crestwood, and Greckham Crestwood. I've got that soaking now. I like to soak these guys for about, you know, 15 minutes or so in the morning when I fertilize. And that's potted in lava and charcoal. So this thing has grown too since I've gotten it. I think I've had that for about three, maybe this is going on four months now. So and it's already putting out new leaves and um, the uh, smaller growth down here have definitely grown. So, all right, we'll go uh, look at something else. Here are the uh, Epidendrum vesicatums. Look like they're growing to me, so. That's a species of Epidendrum I have not grown yet. Uh, this one here should be blooming. This is uh, Encyclia boothiana or Prostechia. There's the uh, Angrecum didieri. Um, Epidendrum, or actually it's Coilostylus now, um, which is getting a new growth right here. So that means it's got four new growths coming. Excellent, excellent plant, and beautiful flowers too. Um, they have a night scent, uh, kind of lemony scent, if I recall correctly. It's been a while since I've bloomed one, so. And of course, the uh, old faithful um, Phalaenopsis chilriana. Got another um, Phalaenopsis coming in soon. It's another species. Uh, probably next month I'm going to be getting it. So um, I got a guy holding it for me, and I'll surprise you with what it is. So. Anyway, the Ancestor Keyless is doing real good. And I just got done watering all the Pathia Pedalums, so that's, they're cranking out. Everything's kind of blocking the view down here. All right, we'll go look at some other stuff. Cat, Catlia luteola is throwing out a new growth. And I gotta get that into soap this morning. Getting some yellowing leaves on the uh, Dendrobium ophelum. I'm not really too concerned with it. Um, it didn't get as long as it did last season, and I'm kind of happy because I kept tripping over it. Um, I also uh, did all my Vandacious types. Um, that's the Darwinara Blue Charm. And, uh, oh, here's the uh, Angrecum leonis down here, which is definitely growing. And we're getting another growth coming on the Epidendrum falcatum or Coilostylus falcata. And a uh, big old yellow leaf on the Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis. But the new growths are doing great, so they do lose leaves, so it's not a big deal to me. Pink water lily is opening up. And uh, this pink one is indeed a viviparous type. And what that means is that the leaves form new plantlets, see? I don't know if you can make that out, but that's a, it's starting a new plant on this. So that's kind of, kind of cool, but you got to kind of keep them submerged. So, and I've got to treat this for snails. Also, um, they're just the uh, ram's horn snail. A lot of new roots coming on the goblin, green goblin. That's Vanda green goblin from Moats. And same deal with the Vanda Marier. 
there's a new root there and this thing just keeps growing like a wild weed um, now I've got an idea with my uh, Dendrobium Lodigesii I'm going to be getting it out of this uh, box here and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, the next show there's a guy that sells tree fern pots yeah I'm either gonna get a big tree fern pot or a big uh, a, a big board of tree fern and uh, mount it onto a either a big pot or a board so that's what's going to happen with that and what we have here is uh, the kikis off of the uh, dendrobium of film so uh, those are going to go to somebody eventually here so that those will go in a giveaway eventually so and dendrobium nester just keeps getting bigger and bigger I think it's almost about done growing, but uh, we'll see. And we still got these blooms coming on the Epidendrum raniferum. So I think it's going to do well in this pot that I did. Um, repotted it in, so repotted it it did. <laughs> and of course Oncidium spatulatum is growing like a mad weed. Uh, Bulbophyllum daisy chain finally gave up the ghost and uh, quit blooming um, this is the uh, Vanda tricolor right here which is just throwing out mega growth I'm real pleased that I got that I don't know about the uh, this is a uh, Catlia violacea muse well let me pause I can't do this one-handed yeah it's not doing much but shucking out roots so and here is the Selogeny pandurata, just a massive plant. I might divide that next year if it bl after it blooms, if it blooms, and then I'll give some of that away too. Big mama from a distance. And yes, I did repot my Arachnus flossaris, and I repotted it in straight uh, hydroton. This thing is just massive. All right, let's go in the polytunnel. Now I do have a feeling with Big Mama, we're gonna see more blooms on her. So uh, that's a, quite a possibility. You know, she's actually three feet across now. Three feet across about. So, and there are her seed pods. All right, we're getting at eight minutes. Let's hurry this along. All right, we'll end up here at the uh, Miltonia Cloesii. Just gorgeous with that sun coming through the back of the petals and sepals. Let me see if it's uh, fragrant. Oh yeah, it's starting to become fragrant a little bit. Um, the Miltonia Spectabilis Moreliana, they're swelling up, but nothing yet. I mean, they're coming. I mean, I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to bloom. I can't wait either because I've never bloomed one. And there is the bloom progression on Edith Colia Grandis. So we're getting some blooms, guys. I'm real happy with that. And there's another one down here. We got about six coming so far on this. So there's a whole plant. Yeah, it's pretty big. Alrighty, that's going to wrap that up, and uh, we're at nine minutes, so love and peace, keep it growing, and we'll definitely talk to you guys on the flip side. And besides, ten minutes is long enough for that to soak, so have a great day, guys. Happy Wednesday. Bye-bye.